Greetings and welcome back to King of Many Nations and Vijayanagar. We have uh, just been declared upon by Great Britain and we are out of manpower, so it's looking kind of bleak. Let's attempt to boost our stability back up. And uh, let's see here. Alright, we're constructing a core, it's almost done. And this is looking really damn awful. So, I suppose we uh, start sieging, maybe. Seems like a good idea. I mean, it will take a while for Great Britain to reach here, anyway. Uh, unfortunately, we are way behind in tech compared to Great Britain, so I do not believe we'll be able to um, destroy any of their stacks without absurd, and I mean absurd, uh, uh, number advantage. Let's see, do we have any war exhaustion? Yeah, a little bit, so I better not suffer attrition, to be honest. Hmm. Take care of them. Oh yeah, I remember, we have uh, the, revolu the French Revolution event. I don't know if it's the French ones, but at least it's a revolution event, that's for sure. It's one of the regular events. I believe they will land here in the west. And from Congo we can... 17. Let's see, can we meet them here in Alabar and... I don't know, destroy them? Guess not, but let's try. Oh, they didn't even go there, they went to Cochin. Alright, so I am... Oh man, look at that leader. 4422. And ours is 3200. Is there any way at all that I could get a better, le better leader and some mercenaries? Let's see, our ruler is worse. Let's gamble on a military leader. Oh, it's awful. Dismiss. So, what we'll be looking into doing here is get an absurd number advantage by hiring every mercenary we can, basically. Um, Indian cavalry archers. Uh, looks good enough. And one now. Too, too expensive. So we'll start losing money, that for sure. But if we can hold the British off, it's worth it. Though I'm not sure, not with a general like that. Right, we need maximum morale. Don't know how big their morale is, but ours is awful. Right, well, let's, let's give this a shot. Shall we? Perhaps I should consolidate regiments instead of that. That would make me go below my... Oh, a little bit. Right. So. Let's hope for the best. Nope. They are way too advanced for us. basically need to give in to their demands once more, and then hope we can gain enough tech to take them on uh, when they attack the next time, or when we want to attack them and take back our rightful own, rightfully owned lands. Oh, it would have been so much easier if we didn't have this revolution at the same time. Now we're losing loads of cash. Gain a theologian, okay. Uh, they want Raishur Doab, and they are not attacking Raishur Doab. <laughs> That's very weird of them. Oh, I have some troops here. Missed one regiment. Hmm, could I attack them with this? Maybe. It's not exactly double, but it's pretty darn close to double. 
I am going to lose. I'm losing my money, if nothing else. <sighs> Merge. Am I below now? No, nope, still 37. Hmm. Have they converted this yet? Yes, they have. Well... Hmm. Well, we're going to need one loan. That's for sure. We could raise... War taxes. Yeah, let's do that. And then we're actually earning money. It's kind of sweet. Let's try to boost our stability. In the meantime. See if they suffer more attrition. The ports are located. We'll take back Madurai. Actually, let's go and take care of those rebels. Ah, uh, do we want to attack? Do we want to attack? No, we want to cut off this supply line or whatever it is. If possible. It just seems like we're never ever sieging down the fort, and I don't know why. It's level 3, I know, but still. Oh, by the way, tiny little army. Let's kill it. Oh, we have a, an army we can actually beat. Man. Stop being so quick. Forced march. We almost we can't beat this team. Well, we won, but at what price? We need like a six times as big army to be able to beat them. Where where are they going? West Berar into Jaunpur? Uh, okay. Well, I can't go there, so fine. Okay, and they are not sieging Raish of Duab, so... So, well, yeah. Oh, by the way, Flintop Musket. Let's see. Cavalry Shock. Hmm. Leather Cannon. Gallop Cavalry. We need level 19 for reformed Tercio. So, let's see, they are at Caroline Infantry. Madurai. Boost our stability in the meantime. Seriously. What a horrible situation. Great Britain. So they are attacking us now. Well, at least we're defending. Might stand... A little chance? No chance at all. Of course not. Way too good. Let's Need to keep away from them. Uh, but seriously, if you want to write your do up and, and you're not willing to strike a deal until you siege it, you sh really should siege Raisho Dua. Just a thought. Still. Yeah, sure, Persia. Not military access. Hmm. Revolutionaries, yeah, take it, take it back. I'm with you this time. Ah, oh, they're fighting our rebels for us. Lovely. Alright, now they're attacking us. Stability. Max stability. That's something. A minor bit. Oh, Great 
Britain. You're tearing me apart. What? Oh, that means the revolution is over, I believe. Okay, are you done yet? They're probably going to force me to release all manner of countries and stuff. Don't like that. Peace. Peace. Should I burn my own country? No. If an army of 36,000 people cannot beat an army of 6,000, then something is horribly wrong. Interesting border gore up here. Steel, France. Need to fix that for the next session. Done yet? Nope. Well, might as well wait it out. Can't do much else. At least I can keep increasing my technology. Ships. Four ships. Decimated. Yeah, I'll probably take care of that. Lana. Of course. Loan is coming to you. Oh. I know. My role is to empty. Yay, I managed to beat 2,000 men. Now they're sieging my capital. Please. Ugh. Help. Ooh, the whole Roman Empire is pushing through reforms. Gemeiner Fenich. Um, that means um, that they have e instituted the same currency across the empire. I know uh, enough German to understand that. Gemeine Fennig. War exhaustion is high. Well, duh. Diplomatic power. Let's, let's reduce it, otherwise I'm going to be in rebel hell. Finally, they're sieging Reichsdorp. Let's take Osta back. I hope I can come, I can get away from this by um, simply releasing like one minor country or giving back Bijapur and then giving them Raishur Doab and perhaps Kachin or something. Help! Okay, now you must be willing, yeah, so just offer. So, Raishur Doab, Kachin. Pronounce on Malabar. That's actually pretty good, but do you not rather want be oh. That's the problem. Bijapur is going to become landlocked. Well, I need to end this war, so. Thanks. Finally. Um, okay, let's move all the mercenaries. Negative money score. Interesting. So we should probably start switching. No, we can't, of course not. Damn. Lions offer from Bengal. I don't think so. Sorry. Do we have level 15? Well, uh, not good, but now we finally start getting money back. Damn you, Britain! Lose stability. Fantastic! Oh, 
just lots of prestige. Steel's being overrun with the Ooh, and uh, isn't Great Britain kind of supposed to form a colonial nation? Colonial India. Yes, they are. I wonder why they aren't. One, two, three, four, five. Perhaps they need to core core these. Then it then it might appear. Portuguese Australia. More advice for the East. Byzantium is reclaiming Armenia. Yep, they have cores and claims everywhere here. That's nice. Um, neatening up the border gore a bit. Netherlands are attacking Italy and uh, the guys. Right, let's build up to our limit again. Repay. Really need to save up military power. That's what we need. We need military power. And military ideas as well. Okay. So now we have 14. We need even more infantry. France, French Mexico, French Canada, New France. <laughs> Lots of France. I wonder who is the aggressor? The Blackfoot as protectorates. We should probably attack the Bamanis. So let's start forging claims. They are. They don't have any allies, and yeah, it should be easy for us to take out. And we need to expand our territory when we have lost so much. Oh wow! What's happening in Uzbek? They have lost territory to Mordva. Now they're losing territory to Baluchistan. <laughs> Nice. Good going, Baluchistan. Okay. So Kashmir got released along the way. Nothing else, and they took back some territory. And this is landlocked now. It's being attacked by just rebels. No specific kind. Ooh, what's this? Garyat. Yeah, I want that. Let's go and take it. Show superiority. No, Persia is defender. No, okay, let's fabricate on them instead. Don't know if that makes much of a difference. Perhaps a little bit. Don't want to fight Persia. That would be awful. How far along are you? 49. Lose stability. Let's go for that. And increase our stability. I, I want to be at plus two. Really need everything stability brings right now. Go up here and join the army. While you get another regiment. And then I'm at my force limit. Right, Persia? That's fine. You can cancel the right all you want. Do 
don't care. The Pomanis. Wanna forget the claim on Ahmad Nagar. If possible. It's fine. And Gauda. It's still the same. Ah. Aquitaine? Does Aquitaine like me? I'm not sure I could get them up to uh, the correct amount of relations to trigger that, though. So the anti Christian edict. I think I'll take it. Let's see if. Uh... No, still 0 0. But can I hire an advisor? Unfortunately, we do not have a missionary strength advisor. Hmm. Ah, that's too bad. Right, let's see here. Garrett. Please return the diplomat. Alright, so they're still... They're still defender of the faith. That means the Bamanis would also. Yeah, I see, I see. It would be kind of disastrous if they joined against us because they are Western tech as well and super powerful. Um, so if I attack them. Allied with Uzbek. Oh, that's too bad. Well, let's, let's try for Gariat here. Can I really not have one single ally anywhere? Okay, uh, let's hope this goes well. Ah, Persia joined in. Of course! So we have the worst luck. Well, let's hope for the best. We can simply wait them out. Let's hope they don't get military access through Jaunpur. Aha! So they sent boats instead. Well, we'll try to take care of that stack later on. Might be easier than with the... There it formed! British India. Under um, Governor Richard Tarleton. Right, holy war. A uh, new idea. No, don't believe I want that. Okay, let's hope I can defeat them. They have military technology 23, which means they are way above. But their general sucks, so. Compared to the British one, at least. And we are three times the. No, okay. Now they are more. We cannot sign a separate peace, I believe? No. So let's hire some Carolines and some Gustavians. Make sure our army is massive compared to theirs. And hope, just hope, that that means something. Well, let's try, right? Can't go else but horribly wrong. Why do I start, like, no... I'm not sure. Right, we lost horribly. Probably means that we need to uh, go for a white piece or something. Right, yeah. Okay. Too bad. At least it's only a price of 10 prestige. Well, that's an alliance I can get behind. 
<sighs> so who do I need to attack? Do I need to attack like... Oh, the Sunnis. Of course, it's the Arabian Caliphate. I have no way to expand anywhere. That's actually quite bad. But if I wait for... Persia to be involved in another war... Which they are right now... Perhaps I could attack Bihar. Uh, let's build more infantry. And some cavalry. And why not another cannon? And let's hope they're way too busy. Arabian Australia, it's actually formed. So this is Arabian Australia, and it's <laughs> mainly New Zealand. What is this? This must be Arabia. One, two, three, four, five, and then something else. Oh, this! <laughs> Interesting. Army force limit is perfect. Bihar is a tasty target. Are they western? No, they're Indian. Okay, so I need to strike while they are fighting the Arabians. They are currently winning. Persia and Scandinavia. That's an odd alliance if I've ever seen one. Persia and Scandinavia. Weird, but I guess kind of cool. Man, Castile has been ravaged. Absolutely ravaged. I would have declared independence if I was Hispaniola. Long time ago. I forgot the unit somewhere. <laughs> I don't know. Repay. Okay, I believe we're close to another military tech, which gives us more and better units. So let's wait for that tech before we attack. There we go, the carbine. And then we go for the leather cannons and the gallop cavalry. Let's hope they make all the difference in the world. Ooh, nice. Okay, so they are allied to the Uzbeks, but the Uzbeks are kind of weird. Ache and Bamanis. At least we are way ahead of them. Well, we have better units than them. Could we attack the Bamanis and survive? Ache would join, so that's a, that's a plus. So, um, yeah. Well, when is he ready? He's soon done. There we go. Okay. Take... This. All willing allies? Yes. Them. Thank you. Let's see who joined in. Did I not call? Okay. Seriously? Did I forget to press the button? 
Uh, alliance, a call to arms. I must have forgotten to press the button. Okay, let's split in half. So let's take these two. There we have the Uzbek army. It might be best to actually merge up in Bihar and then go and take them out. Just a gut feeling. We should be able to, right? Let's see here. They have an awesome general. Oh man, man, man. Let's go and take care of this little army instead. <laughs> Wait for AK. ship some units here, if ever. They seem to be rather disinterested in everything. Because they have such a great general, I'll hire some mercenaries to fill up the ranks. Some um, army blank cavalry, why not? That's kind of cool. Just to make... I'm so tired of losing, I just need this victory. So, so this should work then. 3-2. His, ca his cannons are so good though. But he doesn't have any. <laughs> oh wow, that was overkill. <laughs> I might have overestimated the power of the Uzbeks. to actually siege down the stuff as well. Unlike when Britain held it, we couldn't take anything. Even though it was our own stuff. Way too, way, way too uh, fortified. Right, got that. Okay, as is up to seating land now. Interesting choice. Do I believe this could probably not help wait until I have this leader here? Long for the ride. The Mughals. Oh, so Baluchistan formed the Mughals. Cool. Got a Muslim tech group, I don't know if they have that before. Kazakh is slowly... Well, the Uzbeks are falling apart. That seems historical enough. For hordes to completely fall apart. Castilian Louisiana. <laughs> they actually formed something. They're here as well. So, Bamanis, would you give me everything I ever asked for? No. Okay, then. Then, then we siege everything. And you can probably take care of eight people. I'm being too cautious here. I, I definitely was being too cautious. mission I can actually do. Now then. Oh, you wouldn't steal? I don't know. It's on your head. And if I could annex them fully. 
probably be a really bad idea, but I'm going to take everything I claim. That's 100%. Gives me 33 impressive expansion. Can I? I don't care about that. Cancel down that. Maybe. Hmm. Did this be too much? Yeah, probably. Sukutai becomes a part of Ake. That doesn't give me aggressive expansions, and I like that. And then, uh, money please, and uh, anything else? Yes, that's enough then. Sweet. Okay, time to core. Yeah, you're staying here until we can save up 63 admin power. Disconnect all of the mercenaries. Save on money. And we really need missionary power. If we pick the theologian, could we. What's this? Wow, we need a theologian for that. Yes, yes, yes! Technology cost minus 6. Excellent. Unfortunately, we'll probably never be able to convert. Hmm, 10 nationalists in Desh. Strength, divine supremacy. Well, let's save up admin power. Anything exciting happening anywhere? Steel is still embroiled in several wars. I mean, they are fully occupied, except for these. What is it here? Brazil is just being Norwegian and Protestant. Now let's observe what's happening here. Bhutan is breaking free. Here in Kasak. Mongol nationalists in Mordva. And the Arabian Caliphate is colonizing uh, Eastern Russia. <laughs> I believe Mordva will uh, manage to go there first, but I don't know if they're actually colonizing anything anymore. Hope they are. Armenia is attacking the Uzbeks. Ooh, tick, 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 tick. Sweet. Uh, that all looks fine. 60% overextension. Lovely. Trade company. Nice, 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 but way too expensive.
<sighs> sure. Never. Did I have any other lovely decisions to take? It doesn't look like it. Completed administrative ideas. Aki broke their alliance with us. Why? Prove relations, please. I mean, it's our only ally. We even gave them territory. Because we were so nice. Shan is also attacking the Uzbeks. The course are soon done. Lovely. Excellent, excellent. But we can't convert anything. That's bad. To save up. One or two hundred more. Right, overextension. Gone. Ah, I saw something happening. It's Shan that has taken territory. They are moving into Tibet. Armenia has taken some stuff, I believe. I'm not sure. Yes, they have. Any good missions? I should do one. <laughs> the Santium's opinion. We might as well send a, send a guy there, but I don't know if he'll be able to uh, to complete the mission. Soon we can invest in the missionary strength idea, at the very least. Start converting. See more military tech? Yes, please. Hi, Gustavian. Yeah, those are good. The Mughals? The Mughals took the coast here? I see. Weird. Ah, and there we go. Yes. Like, now we can start converting stuff. Finally. It's going to take a long time, though. And the session is soon over. But I want to play a little bit longer. Just a little bit. To ensure that we leave uh, Vijayanagar in a good state. Can we... Hmm. If we recall... Can we attack the Bamanis? Yeah, they left the military coalition. But Persia is still there. Alright. Oh, they took that? Then, hmm. I really want to attack them. Ooh, ni nice, nice. Show spirit. Excellent. Apparently, the, um, Persia is not no longer the defender of the faith.
Kashmir has grown and this little nation that popped up has been absorbed by the Mughals. Oh man, I'm looking forward to playing the new Crusader Kings 2 expansion. Rajas of India. Imagine converting a save from there. Uh, whatever. Something. Come on. There we go. Full annexation. Thank you. Make it a core. All right. Looking good. I should have taken spy defense there, but uh, but hey, works either way. The Mughals declared war on us. That's too bad. Well, I I'll uh, hmm. well I, I'll see it through for a for a bit, at least until I know I I win or lose. Aha! Sending small armies, are you? 44,000! Man, the size of that army! Yeah, I'm, I'm not even... Start building some... Uh... some mercenaries. Where are they going? Down to Mysore? Weird. Man, they're sieging really darn quickly. Oh, they're going for... some specific area, like my, where I the troops. They retreat. Right, move along the coast up to Galliat. Oh? No? Oh, you're gonna meet me here. Come at me. <laughs> so you better go and support them. Ah, I lost again. Why is my morale so bad? I mean, it started like half. Well, at least I have lots of manpower this time. I don't know why my morale is so extremely piss poor every time I go into battle. That guy was awful. Might be a reason. Don't know what though. Five pips in uh, shooting. Might be. Might be what's doing it. Oh, 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 nice, nice. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, we lost, but we almost won. We have lots of manpower. They are probably exhausting their manpower. Hmm. Might actually be true. Hey, not fair. Forced march. That's not fair. Well, we'll wait for uh, morale to go up because they seem to be coming after us. So our troops are better for sure. By the way, do they accept? No, nope, not a white piece. Attacking us again. It's up the wind. Just look at this. Why is my bar? I have full army maintenance. I don't understand. I don't understand. Do they have some kind of weird ability that makes them able to lower my morale by an awful much? It should be full. Or is that some other bar that I'm not familiar with? this. No. Yeah, we need to 
take some basic war taxes. Alone. Yeah, we're losing. I'm sorry, I'm just way too bad at the military aspect of this game. I don't understand it. I guess it, it must be because we have so little morale that it's just not filling up the entire bar or something along those lines uh. yeah it's a lost course but I will help the AI by trying to uh, get a favorable peace deal in some way don't know how though take a loan up here by the way what do they want conquest of my sword where is that Wait, what? That, that's, an... that's an inland province. How have they even been able to forge a claim on it? They have forged a claim on Vich as well. Oh, of course, they have a claim on everything. Oh man, I didn't know that. Might be our prestige that's hurting our morale. Just four percent shouldn't matter that much. Um, I'm actually going to let the AI take care of this because I I'm losing anyway. Um, um, it's an unfortunate end to our India segment, but we did westernize, and that's about the only thing that went right for us. So. Uh, well, at least we got a very historical outcome with Great Britain, the Mughals moving in, taking over our territory. Anyway, thank you for watching. In the next episode, I will hopefully play a bit better.